In this video, we're going to be checking out this Force One Orbiter that was sent to me for testing and review. And I got to say, this thing is a lot of fun. So right away, we have the Orbiter right here, and it does come with a remote. But this remote only turns it on and off, doesn't control where it goes. And then it also comes with a charging cable. Don't want to lose this charging cable. If you lose this charging cable you might not be able to use this thing anymore. But we're looking up at the ceiling because this thing flies. We do have a sensor on the bottom here with a switch. So you're gonna turn that off and then you wanna turn it on and it is going to light up nice and bright. If you accidentally hit the button on this, it is going to go off. So what you do is you turn it on, it will take off on its own. So the way this thing works is you're going to turn this switch on. It's going to light up like that. And you do have the remote. It is going to turn on pretty much right away. And when it turns on, you just let it go. And it has a sensor underneath it. When you turn it on, you just let it go. And it has a sensor, but you can click it with the remote. So if I click this, you see where you have the flashing red. If I click it, it's going to turn on and you can let it go and it has a sensor below it and that's how you get it to go up so you can click it to turn it on and you can click the button on the remote to get it to come back down too so lock right so i can click it to turn it on and turn off and you just catch it in your hand like that but the sensor below it is going to make it any, anytime it senses something below it, it's going to go back up. So this could be a lot of fun. Um, I will say this. You want to make sure you try not to get it to run into stuff because you do not get really any extra like propellers here. And if this does run into enough stuff, what's going to end up happening is you get a bunch of little dings in the propellers here and they're not going to be perfectly straight anymore and when that happens you're gonna get it's gonna start flying crazier so the more crazy that you fly it when it's fine the crazier it's gonna start flying so right now it, it does a really good job of going straight up and down but if you let it crash in too many things that damage the propellers you know just something to be aware of 